Welcome back. Today we're making the lowest calorie possible, highest protein possible, and easiest possible spaghetti. You may or may not have seen similar recipes before, but I can tell you that this is just so quick and so easy to make, and it tastes amazing. So let's just get started here. I'll show you the ingredients that you need, and just check it out. It's awesome. All right, so for maximum effectiveness, make sure you do this with pajama pants on. So you are going to need a spaghetti squash. So if you've never had this before, it's a really mild pumpkin taste, but it's, it's really not that strong of a taste. You can't really taste it much, and it's really spaghetti-like in the inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to poke a few holes in this, throw it in the microwave, and this will replace our pasta. So it's way lower in starch, and it's super low in calories, high in fiber. Squash will really fill you up, keep you feeling full, and super low in calories. You can use squash in anything and everything, and in this case, we're using spaghetti squash. Here's another type of pasta that I use. So this is new pasta. Or you can get any pasta made with something called konjac root. So the main ingredient in this is konjac root, and that is super low in calories, high in fiber. You can really eat a lot of it, and it's so, super, super low in calories. All right, so another thing we're using for flavor, and it's low in calories, I'm just using a package of mushrooms here, one clove of garlic, and half an onion or a medium-sized onion. So along with everything, I'm going to be using a jar of pasta sauce. Pasta sauce is generally speaking not that high in calories. I did get one that has no added sugar, but that's not because I really have something against it. It wouldn't really add that many calories to your dish. I just don't really like the one that has added sugar. I like my pasta sauce to be more sour, stronger tasting. So that's the, that's the sauce that I like. And I'm using extra lean ground beef. So in the States, I don't know if it's called like 96% or whatever, here in Canada we call it, we have extra lean, we have lean, we have medium. So I don't know what you guys call it there, but this is the leanest that I can buy. And it's actually really comparable to turkey or chicken ground. It has a tiny, tiny bit more fat, but it's well worth it. And I just find the, uh, the turkey and chicken breast, I just really hate it in my sorry, I mean the turkey and chicken ground, I just really hate it in my pasta, so for me it's not worth it. And you know, I'm reducing the calories a lot by using these instead of uh, wheat. Okay, that being said, you can still mix in a little bit of real spaghetti with the fake spaghetti. So you can do half and half, you can do whatever, right? So it's up to you on how much weight you want to lose and how much of a calorie deficit you want to be in. So it's entirely up to you. Okay, so we're going to get slicing here. So this, this onion has been sitting around a while. I kind, of, I kind of forgot about it. So it's got a little bit of... It's going a little bit bad here, so we're just going to peel it off. Alright, so you can really slice this. I usually do like a little bit... I kind of slice it in cubes. We start off like that. Do a couple of slices like this, and then I just chop. If you don't know how to chop an onion, there's Gordon Ramsay videos showing you how. It's not that hard. Okay, so that's done. Clove of garlic. So I usually, not that I have anything against China, but I recommend not buying those Chinese cloves of garlic. What you'll find is if you buy the more expensive ones that are by pound, you'll find that they peel just way easier, there's way more juice in them and, and way more flavor in them. So if you, if you want better tasting garlic, don't buy the Chinese ones that are, that come in like a, pre-packaged, like, 
you know, three to five of them in one package, they're really cheap. Don't buy that garlic. Just spend a little bit more, get the good stuff. So we're just going to chop this, this garlic up. You can also obviously, uh, you can also just use a garlic crusher in this. Doesn't really matter. And for those of you that really hate garlic, I guess you can skip it. But it does add a lot of flavor, even though you're not putting much in. The onions and the garlic, they add a lot of flavor to this. Because, you know, in the jar, all the ingredients have just been pasteurized and sitting there in the jar for so long and loses a lot of flavor. So this kind of really adds some flavor to this. And, you know, when you're not eating that many calories, you need all the flavor that you can get. So I'm just going to go ahead and wash these mushrooms and heat up a pot here. Alright, so I'm going to... Gonna make sure these mushrooms, I already bought them, they looked like they were semi-washed, but not like fully washed. I try to just buy them as clean as possible, so I don't have to wash them as much. And yeah, I buy them pre-sliced. So if you buy them pre-sliced, they're gonna go bad a lot quicker than mushrooms that aren't pre-sliced. So don't get lazy and leave your mushrooms in the fridge. I'm guilty of that. All right, that's clean enough. So we're gonna need a decent sized pot. So we're gonna start off by browning the, uh, the onions, the, the mushrooms, the garlic. We're gonna brown that up. And we're gonna use, obviously, as little oil as possible. So you don't want it to stick, you don't want it to burn, but you also don't want to just dump a whole bunch of oil. So you're going to see a lot of recipes online that call for a huge amount of oil and you don't really need that much. Okay, so I've already sprayed this with a tiny bit of olive oil. You can see that, you know, it's, it's just there. You're, you're making a tiny coat on the pan. So you're doing that and obviously don't heat this up too high. A lot of guys make the mistake of just, you know, cooking everything on max. Take it easy. See, there we go, stir it around a bit. You know, you could add a little bit more oil if you're finding it's starting to stick. But you'll get the hang of this as you do it more. You wanna add like a little bit of color to these, not too much. You don't want to burn them. A little bit of color. I'm using a I'm using a sweet Vidalia onion here. Figured I'd give it a shot just to change things up a bit. I wouldn't recommend using a red onion. So red onions are best raw. And then you got all, and then you got your your white onion, which is kind of like you could use it raw, and you could also cook with it. And then you got your yellow onion, which is more used for cooking, and it has a stronger taste, more sulfur compounds in it. So just in case you don't know what onions to use and when, just try to remember red onion usually for raw, and then if anything else, mainly for cooking. White onion could be used for both. Still, white onion's a little bit too strong for me raw. Sometimes I do eat it raw, but a little bit too strong for me typically. All right, so now I'm just gonna put the mushrooms in. So the mushrooms have a ton of water in them. So they are really big going in and they're just going to shrink and get smaller and smaller as you cook them down. So 
I'm gonna turn up the heat here. Cook these mushrooms down. See, I'm gonna start poking at the, the squash here and we're gonna throw it in the microwave. So the reason why we do wanna poke it is because it's gonna explode and go all over the place if there's no way to release a little bit of steam. So you can poke it with a small knife or a big knife. I'd probably say a small knife is better, but this is what I have right now that's clean. So if you didn't poke it enough, you're gonna hear a big explosion in your microwave and it's probably gonna go all over the place, so don't be scared. It's just a little bit of a mess. Okay. And I find the best way to cook this is in the microwave. So there's people, other people cooking it different ways, but microwave is the fastest. We're gonna go for five minutes and we may or may not need longer. All right, now we hear that lovely microwave as we're, as we're cooking here. So mushrooms add a lot of, a lot of that umami flavor which is basically MSG in its natural form. A lot of people are scared of MSG when they see it in food, but uh, it occurs naturally. It's in a lot of things that we eat, mushrooms being one of them. See, look at, look at how brown that is. Okay, now we're gonna add our ground beef. I'm just gonna dump it on top of this. You could also cook it in like a separate pan and then throw it in, but I don't really care. So I'm just gonna dump it in here. And you really wanna just break it up into smaller pieces as it's cooking. So you just keep breaking it up into smaller pieces and you'll get like a nice meat sauce from it. So we're definitely putting in a lot more meat than needed, right? So this recipe is gonna be very heavy in meat when it comes compared to other like spaghetti sauces or pasta sauces. You're gonna notice the meat to sauce ratio is pretty high. It's not really how I like to eat my pasta, but uh, you know, you gotta get your protein in. So just keep doing this, keep breaking it up. And you may need to increase the heat because there's just so much, so much going on in here right now and it really brings the temperature down. That cold meat brings the temperature down, so. Just keep going. And once this is fully cooked, you dump in your sauce. So this is pretty well done by now. And we're just gonna add our sauce in. You could also use tomato paste and water. That would also work very well. All right. So there you have it. If you're, if you're putting one pound of meat, a little bit of little bit of vegetables, you get a pretty decent sauce. Like, look at that. So it's, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good amount of sauce with this amount of, of meat and vegetables, etc. So a little bit more in there. You could even put a, li a little bit of water in here, tiny bit of water, swirl it around, get all that sauce in there. water in here. Get your money's worth. All right, and that's done. So the squash was in the microwave for five minutes. It needs a bit longer, but this is a pretty weak microwave that I have. So other microwaves might cook it faster. So just keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. 
and with the squash, I don't mind it to be a bit overcooked. When it's undercooked, mm, not too good. Doesn't taste too good. Okay, let's check on the squash. Oh, I just put the squash in for maybe another, it's gonna be about 10 minutes in total now. For the squash, our sauce is basically done. And we'll be right back. I'm just gonna cover this, let it simmer for a bit. Let all the flavors mix in. We're gonna cover this. Cover this, clean up a bit. Okay, I'm back with the squash here. It is hot as hell. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it. So, cuts really easily now since it's cooked to shit. And there you have it. So that's what it looks like here. I'm trying to see if I can maybe come a little closer. All right. All you do is you remove the seeds and you can even eat these seeds, you can roast them and eat them, but there's no way that I have the time or patience for that. But uh, they do sell pumpkin seeds at the store. They're basically the same, same seeds here. This is basically a pumpkin. Not much of a difference between this and a pumpkin, except that it's stringy-like in, uh, in the inside. Okay. So we got most of the seeds out here. So you could, you could just directly take the sauce and dump it in here and eat it that way. But what I like to do is I like to take out the spaghetti squash. So you can see it here, how it's just very stringy like. I like to, I like to fully, fully take out all the squash and that way I have it in containers uh, ready to go in the microwave with the sauce on them. You could even meal prep this. So I'm going to scoop out a bit of this. A little bit more. So there you have it. There's your there's the spaghetti squash, and we got our sauce. We're gonna just taste test a little bit here. So we're gonna add some sauce. That is piping hot. Okay, so now I'm just gonna taste this, here it is. So obviously there are more appetizing looking things to eat on this world than, you know, some spaghetti squash. And actually, it's pretty good. So the squash, not too sweet, but obviously a little bit sweeter than regular pasta but not much of a taste to it. It's really, it's really a light pumpkin taste. And yeah, I definitely recommend it. Try it out. It took maybe 10 minutes in the microwave. Your microwave maybe won't take as long. Totally worth it. And before I forget, so this is the new pasta, NU pasta. And all you need to do with this is you actually you kind of just drain it. Yeah, there it is, drain, rinse, and heat up. It's that easy. And it actually smells pretty bad. When you open the package, it's gonna smell pretty bad, but then you wash it, drain it, and heat it up, and it actually doesn't have much of a taste at all. It tastes kind of like a really mild bean. So it's a very mild bean taste, and this is a very mild pumpkin taste. So pick whatever you want, and obviously, you can throw in real pasta. 
You don't have to eat just this. You could throw in and mix up with some real pasta. Enjoy. The konjac root.